Hey everybody and welcome back to another Nightcore Store Flashlight Overview. In this video, we're going to be discussing in depth the newest from Nightcore, the TM9K Pro, which is the successor of the TM9K TAC. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with everything Nightcore, EDC, tactical and flashlight related. But without any further ado, let's get into it, shall we? With three Night Lab UHI 4D Max LEDs, the Nightcore TM 9K Pro delivers a powerful 9,900 lumen output and a throw of 557 yards. It's an ideal choice for search and rescue, patrolling, or lighting up your land at night. It boasts triple LEDs with 27 cores. The TM 9K Pro delivers both ultra high brightness and tactical long range capabilities. The TM 9K Pro is constructed from aero grade aluminum alloy with a hardcore anodizing type three military grade finish. All that to say is that this flashlight is built like a tank. The TM 9K Pro utilizes three nine core UHI 40 max LEDs with a max output of 9,900 lumens and an impressive throw of 557 yards. A total of 27 cores outputting light. It has a max peak beam intensity candela of 65,400 candela. There are four levels of brightness to cycle through with two additional modes of instant access to search mode at 6,000 lumens and lumen shield at 9,900 lumens, similar to the EDC33 and the EDC35. There's a sensor protection function as well. The point of the sensor is to protect from unintentional activation. Uh, I hope you can see the sensor. It's right there. It's a little black dot inside the flashlight. So say we accidentally activate lumen shield, right? We don't want to burn anything. So it automatically dims by itself. But as soon as you move away, it goes back to the full output of 9,900 lumens. So that's the point of the sensory protection function. I'll show you one more time. It senses my hand. We move and then it blasts. I want to highlight the fast charging capabilities. There's a built-in 5,000 milliamp high capacity lithium ion battery. The flashlight can run up to 65 hours thanks to its powerful battery. And it can charge up to 80% in just one hour and 45 minutes and fully charges in just three hours. Dual tail switches enable one-handed intuitive operations for tactical scenarios. So the power button acts as an on, off and brightness level adjustment right here. There's two lockout modes, half lockout mode where the power button is locked, but you can still access search and lumen shield. And there's a full lockout mode where both buttons on the tail switch are unable to activate the flashlight. I'll show you examples of that later in the video. The TM 9K Pro has a waterproof and dustproof rating of IP68 and is impact resistance up to one meter. This is the operation guide to the TM 9K Pro. Now first, you have direct access to search and lumen shield, all operable with one hand. When the light is off, half press and hold the mode button to access search, release it to turn it off. When the light is off, full press and hold the mode button to access lumen shield and release it to turn it off. When the light is on, half press the power button to cycle through the ultra low, low, mid, and high settings. The TM 9K Pro has a memory function so it'll directly access the previous memorized brightness level when reactivated. Power indication. When the light is on, the power indicator will indicate the remaining battery power and displays battery voltage. Constant on means there's more than 50% battery. Slowly flashing means there's less than 50% remaining and quick flashing means less than 10% of battery life remains. Sensor protection function. When the flashlight is off, if there's an obstruction near the LEDs and the flashlight accidentally accesses high, search, or lumen shield, the flashlight brightness will automatically decrease to 500 lumens to prevent overheating and prolong the lifespan of the flashlight. The sensitivity of the sensor may differ due to variations in color and material of the obstruction. Once the obstruction is removed, the flashlight will return to the previous brightness level. When high search and lumen shield is already on, covering the light outlet will not activate the sensor protection function and the brightness remains unchanged. It is important to keep the front lens clean to ensure that the built-in sensor functions properly to achieve its optimal performance. Take care of your flashlight, folks. 
The TM9K Pro has two lockout features, half lockout mode and full lockout mode. Half lockout mode when the light is on, half press and hold the power button until the flashlight flashes once to access half lockout mode. When in half lockout mode, the power button is unavailable to activate the flashlight, but half and full pressing and holding the power button will turn on the power indicator and you can release that to turn it off. When in half lockout mode, half press and hold the mode button to access search, full press and hold the mode button to access lumen shield in half lockout mode. To unlock, full press the power button three times to exit lockout mode. The flashlight will turn on to indicate this process. To access full lockout mode when the light is on, half or full press and hold the power button until the flashlight flashes three times to access full lockout mode. That was half lockout mode. Now we're in full lockout mode. Once the full lockout mode is activated, the power indicator will flash to show the battery voltage. When in full lockout mode, both buttons are now unavailable to activate the flashlight. Once again, to unlock, simply full press the power button three times. So I want to compare the TM9K TAC to the TM9K Pro. Let's start with the design. Now the design is virtually identical minus a few nuanced things you'd only notice if you were holding them side by side. The Pro is slightly taller than the TAC. It is 5.24 inches versus 4.92 inches. The knurling is the same as well as the tail switch, although the tail switches do different things. For example, the TAC does not have a half press button. If we were to compare the bezels, uh, the bezels are virtually identical. They even fit if you put them together right there. It's like they're, it's like they're the exact same shape. But the only difference that I can tell are the finish. You know, you have more of a metallic metal finish for the tack versus the chrome of the Pro. Uh, while we're talking about the bezels, let's talk about the LEDs inside. The TAC has a 9 Cree XP L2 HD LED versus the Pro's 3 9 core UHI 40 Max LEDs, which has 27 cores total versus 9. So this one has a way vaster throw. Uh, also, the TAC does not have a sensor protection function. The Pro has it, the TAC does not. So when you blast Lumen Shield, there's that protection right there, uh, which you're going to want for sure so you don't hurt yourself. The TAC does not have that function. Uh, which brings me to the strobe. Strobe versus Lumen Shield. TAC has the strobe. This leads me to ask if Lumen Shield will exist and uh, eliminate the strobe altogether. Comment below and let me know what you think. Which do you prefer, Lumen Shield or a strobe? Beam shape is different as well. If we were to judge them, um, look, you can see that the shape of the uh, three nine core UHI 40 max LEDs is a little more pronounced and it uh, looks like it's a different white balance color to me too um, Than the TAC this is different beam shape. The lockout modes are different as well to lock out the TAC You have to first turn on the flashlight hold the mode button and then press the power button again to lock it out completely uh, this means that you can't press anything it's completely locked out to turn it back on you have to press the mode button three times and that turns your flashlight back on it's kind of complex not gonna lie but when it comes to the pro it's very simple you just hold the power button go into half lockout mode and then keep holding it and then you're in full lockout mode so neither the search or the lumen shield work until you press the button three times to unlock the flashlight. So I think I prefer this method a lot more. The throw is very different as you can see in these examples here. The TM9K Pro has a much further throw distance than the TM9K TAC. And of course, here are the run times and tech specs for each. You have the TM9K TAC over here and the TM9K Pro. The specs, the devils are in the details, folks.
Overall, I think this is a big upgrade from the TM 9K TAC to the TM 9K Pro. I'm not sure if I missed the strobe function because I don't think we need it now that we have the lumen shield. Blasting the lumen shield even one foot away from your subject can do some serious damage. Instant access to search and lumen shield is a feature that is a must have for me. I can't go backwards. The TM9K Pro charges fast and I think that's worth noting. Full charge at around three hours. For a flashlight this powerful, that charging speed is lightning quick. Finally, with the holster, which I wasn't able to use for this demonstration, which I believe is the same holster for the TM9K TAC, this could be my EDC. The TM9K Pro, an incredible upgrade and a badass tactical flashlight. But what do you think? Are you picking one up? Visit the link in our description using code U10 for 10% off your purchase. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.